Hello everyone, this is Caustic John. Today I'll show you a tutorial on how to uh, use this wave editor in Caustic 3. So for taking the wave editor, you have to go to PCM Synth and long press the level. After you get that, you will get the wave editor. So first I'll uh, teach you how to use the CFSR. So in this you can make uh, some kind of sweep a riser and more stuff uh, to build up some effects in your song so like so a kind of sweep so like this sweep and all you can uh, use it in your song so you can make it with the help of C F S F S R. so uh, I have made 20 uh, voices from C SFHR and I will uh, share the wave file with you. So after that, uh, the, I got one piano loop over here. So I'll be kind of sampling this. So let's do let's do it. So first, let me hear the loop. So I just need the first part of this loop. Yeah, only up to there. So up to six. So I put to six point five and just crop it. After I crop it, I will just roll the cursor so it will get zoomed more and more closely. So over there, I will crop it more up to six. So I have cropped it. So now I have to just loop it. Before I before looping this, a glitch voice is coming. So if you if you people are wearing earphones, you can observe those glitch voices. So I have to remove it. So you yeah, just have to go grow and scroll more and more down. So you can get the step. Yeah, the glitch is kind of empty. So now I'll just save it as loop. So that is that's how you do cropping in this area. So sometimes uh, the glitch might be there. So for that purpose, I can just I can just use mute over there. So that's the glitch area. I'll zoom more and more. So if I press mute, that area will become straight. If you keep on pressing mute, that will become uh, what you can say that will completely go off. So now I'll just so the glitch will be there still. So if the glitch still repeats, you can just save it. I'll just save it and then so after you say saved it the glitch might be there for if the glitch still continues you can go to end which is uh, last over here a uh, long press end and you'll get some background like this so now you will have a clear way on how the loop looks like so up to here i will put it If the glitch still continues, then I'll bring it more and more close. Where the point ends, that point I will keep it. So the glitch has stopped. So now uh, I will show you how to detune and maybe you can say increase an octave above. So I do it by long pressing level and in tools. I'll get this pitch and time. So 
uh, when you click that you will get these two areas pitch pitches like this So you can increase the octave and it, it will become more and more like this. Uh, you can increase it. So it will, it will come to C6. Then you can reduce one octave. It will decrease the volume and then if you go to semis. It will get tuned. So if you uh, do up to low, then I'll put sense high. If I do sense only half a bar will get uh, tuned up, and if I reduce it. So this uh, this uh, this part over here shows how much you have reduced it. So you can just bring it down. So I'll just taking it over here. So this is the pause button. This is the play button and. This is the inf uh, like loop button. So you press this and play. It will keep on playing. So now uh, this time. Time you can increase uh, the speed of the loop by just pressing the plus button. So that decreased it. Now, if I want, I can increase it. <laughs> so it gets increased a lot. So this is the pitch and time. I will not apply any of this. So I, after doing this, I like this one. No, I didn't like it. So then. I'll take the loop. I'll make this hundred percent. I'll make it one twenty over here. Yeah. So I'll add that. So this is what I got finally. So now I'll go to effects and I'll add some uh, distortion which is I'll add chorus as better. So I'll add this reverb. I like reverb. So I'll apply it, and that's applied. So finally, I made the loop, and now uh, you can reverse it. You can smooth it. It can fade in, fade out. If you fade in and fade out, it will become more and more decreased. So I'll just fade out will become over here. Fade in will come over here. So now, then reverse will reverse the entire loop from the back to front. The 
yeah actually sounds good so this uh, so this is the front to back and reverse will make it back to front so after done after i have made it so this is the loop okay so that's done so now after you got the loop you have to detect its tempo bpm so in tools there will be option over here detect bpm press it it will it will show 160 for mine is 160 so i'll put the tempo to 160 make it into four bars Now we'll just start playing it. So it uh, completely fits in. So uh, you can in PCM synth only you can uh, increase an octave and decrease an octave. So if I increase an octave in PCM synth and uh, reduce it like this so it sounds bad you can low pass it by clicking the filter and then cut off some areas I don't like to low pass it. There are so many filters low pass, high pass, band pass, uh, envelope loop, envelope HP, envelope BP. I don't know what all of this stuff. So I'll just uh, put none. That's better loop. So after done that, we can put some effects in the if, uh, effect area. I'll put I want to make this a guitar While you're making the song, you can uh, control the rate and the depth together, so the uh, the loop will go in a wave for wave wave type of way. <coughs> so I have made the loop. So this is how the wave editor helps you in making songs. So if you like my tutorial video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.